All right, what's going on YouTube? So I gotta make this little rant video real quick. Let me crack my Red Bull. I'm not trying to sound like a whiner, but one of the most annoying things, in my opinion, about living in a suburb that I didn't realize till I get older, and you can probably hear in the background, is commercial landscaping, all right? <clears throat> I understand people gotta make their little living or whatever, you know, they gotta support themselves, people have their own businesses and whatever, but it is so freaking annoying. When you live in a suburb, eight o'clock in the morning on Saturday, wah, ah, ah, and it's for like freaking three, four hours straight because all of your neighbors will have the same, uh, hire the same commercial landscapers, they'll pull up and they'll be all day in your street. So instead of relaxing from your nine to five, or whatever, you gotta hear on your weekend this noise pollution BS. And I know a lot of landscapers get like butt hurt and mad about people saying that gas stuff like that should be banned. But like, dude, it's so loud and obnoxious. Like, I'm sorry, I don't wanna hear it, dude. Like, I don't wanna freaking hear that for five hours on Saturday. I think lawn culture in America is stupid. Personally, I think it's a status symbol for most people, and if it were up to me, I'd either have a natural lawn where I actually have the environment like growing, or I would just have a concrete slab, to be honest. That is the last thing I wanna do on my weekend, is maintain grass and try and control nature. I think it's weird that people are control freaks about nature and trying to make it perfect. I really think that's a weird thing, but commercial landscaping to me has gotten more popular in the last 20 years, because I don't remember when I was a kid seeing this much of it. I remember people did more of their own yard work. And so, yeah, I honestly, I don't even understand where people are getting the money for this with how tight things are, but back to it. Look, unfortunately things evolve with time, whether you like it or not. And like, you know, that's just where technology is going. And I mean, they, look, I, I like modified cars and other stuff, so I'm not trying to just be like a tree hugger completely, but they emit a ton of pollution. And I used to operate one at one of my jobs as part of my, you know, part of my job was clearing and running the leaf blower for 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, you're going to be deaf after, um, after using one of those things. But I think that the studies show that the pollution is like worse than vehicles. So I mean, honestly, it's kicking all kinds of stuff up in the air, feces, and just all kinds of like stuff that messes with your respiratory system. I, I just don't think it's, I, I mean, it's annoying. Like at the end of the day, I just think you're exposing your neighbors and the people around you. It's obnoxious. And I really wish that would like go away, like the gas powered. I understand the electric ones kind of, some of them suck, but they're coming, they're getting better. But like, I mean, I just think there should be some kind of ordinance, like between this hour and that hour, you can't operate it. And I honestly like, look, I'm conservative in some ways and I'm liberal in others. Like I'm not, I don't fall and fit into one category. Um, I'm my own person, but I don't blame certain states in the North that have banned them. They're freaking annoying. And it's every weekend down here in the South. It is every Saturday I gotta hear the loud decibel leaf blowers for four hours straight, just absolutely blaring when I'm trying to enjoy my time off from work. It is absolutely obnoxious. And yeah, anyway, I'm not going anywhere else, I guess, with this. So I'm just annoyed by gas powered leaf blowers and commercial landscaping. You got to adapt to technology. And it's like one of those things where like nobody wants to have to do it, but it's just an inevitable thing. So you know, it, it just, it happens. You have to adapt. It's like, I didn't want to give up the uh, wired, like the audio jack on my phone, but that's just the way cell phones went. And you know, you adapt or get left behind because nobody's making that anymore. So anyway, that's all I got. Rant over. Later.